bertemu kembali. Sejak pandemik COVID-19, kita menyaksikan banyak syarikat berpindah kepada adaptasi digital dan sudah pasti aspek keselamatan dan security menjadi kegusaran mereka dalam perpindahan ini. Menurut CPA Australia, perniagaan kecil Malaysia menggunakan sepenuhnya perubahan teknologi ini ketika pandemik dengan 40% peningkatan syarikat berfokus kepada jualan secara dalam talian. Malah 60% menggunakan media sosial untuk tujuan promosi dan juga 55% menggunakan platform itu untuk berkomunikasi bersama pelanggan mereka. Bagi membincangkan trend ini, kita bersama dengan Ketua Keselamatan Google Cloud Apex, Mark Johnston yang bersedia pada ketika ini. Mark, thank you so much for joining us. First of all, as a natural outcome of the uh, pandemic COVID-19, Malaysian SMEs uh, were forced to quickly adapt to changing consumer needs and many had to pivot to digital if they wanted to stay in business. Do you think this is a shift that here that is here to stay, Mark? First of all, thank you, Najib, for the opportunity and to talk about such an important topic such as cybersecurity and uh, enterprises. So, in short, yes, we see from our recent Economy SEA report that over 40% of digital merchants in Malaysia I believe that a digital channel has helped them survive uh, in, in this crisis. Uh, from our recent economy uh, SEA report, we discovered over 40% of Malaysian digital merchants believe they would not have survived COVID-19 if not for digital platforms. I think this is huge. It speaks to the optimism and the opportunity for those small medium enterprises to expand into new channels and to leverage what they have invested in now to grow. If they're seeing tangible results, why wouldn't they continue? And not just for big organisations, but mum and pop stop establishments as well. A standout example of this is Doe by Sarah Bakery, who was able to expand customer acquisition by 230% and increase sales by 300% by using Google's business profile. Essentially a digital storefront that made them more uh, accessible and discoverable on search. When business owners are able to better serve their existing customers, open new doors to new ones in a scale they could never reach before, like those hundreds of percents we just heard, they're definitely going to be more likely to stick with what's working and to inspire other businesses to take the digitization journey. Because this shift is likely to stay in Egypt, I think it's important there's even more reason to be vigilant around how they're going to protect those digital channels. You see, cybersecurity attackers do not discriminate whether you're a small mum and pop shop or a big large enterprise. And so we need to have a strong awareness and foundation of what we can do to protect our businesses and make sure we have that continuity to service our customers with a strong digital channel. Can you share some of the uh, top considerations for SMEs before taking their first step into uh, pivoting their business uh, online? Absolutely. And as business environments evolve in this digital nature, there's a huge potential to explore and grow. But it's important to put in place a few foundational aspects to protect your company, your employees, and your customers' data, which is critical to your business continuation. You want to make sure that you have a trusted environment in which to operate for everyone. So a small little checklist we could go through would be taking control of your passwords. Today, a lot of security still works around a password and having uniqueness in these passwords is very important. Just like for consumers protecting our personal assets, enterprises need to take control of the many different passwords that exist around their digital systems. We encourage organizations to use a password management tool and there's some free ones in our Chrome browser. We also encourage you to make strong passwords and not reuse them across different sites. Of course, we all know that remembering all these can be a challenge. So having a good password management tool that can generate these and store them centrally, allowing you to manage that risk inside your organization is very important. And there's a free one built into our Chrome browser and many of different tools out there that you can choose to actually improve the management of this and any life cycle situations you might have of employees joining, uh, needing access or leaving and making sure their passwords stay within your business, especially your small business, uh, accordingly. 
And uh, Mark, SMEs in Malaysia are being hit by cyber attacks. That's according to the SME Association of Malaysia. And invest, uh, investing in cybersecurity is a necessity, especially to protect themselves uh, against ransomware. How big of a problem is it for small businesses? Is this something that uh, Malaysian SMEs should be worried about? It certainly is. As I mentioned earlier, a ransomware doesn't discriminate either. It will attack anyone who has a particularly vulnerable endpoint or clicks the link, link in a manner that will be exploited. Criminals, uh, and let's go through what ransomware does, right? It's how cyber criminals and bad actors lock up your data and then they hold you hostage until you pay for that. And that's the ransom aspect of this. It's commonly delivered through email phishing where you've actually had an employee click a link that has been tailored towards that employee or a topical issue that might be happening in the news that compels them to explore that. We need to find uh, ways uh, to remediate that and also detect it as well as prevent. It can also come from plugging in different USB keys and other devices into computers unwittingly. We need to be aware of that risk as well. Malaysian SMEs should be concerned because of how quickly these ransomware technologies and these gangs are evolving. Mm. They've evolved their tactics to steal this data at times and then actually ransom selling that data back to you, locking you out. Some have also used distributed denial of service to affect the digital channels that you go to market in, affecting your ability to deliver your business services. We've also seen regional focal focuses around this in our cyber threat reports as well. So SMEs should definitely be concerned, but there are solutions. So there are aspects and technologies that are web-based, cloud-delivered, and always backed up. A great example of this is our Chrome operating system, which is by default backed up to the cloud and encrypted by default as well. You see, there are some basic solutions to this problem. You can't steal what you already have a backup and a copy of, and you can't lock yourself out if it's backed up accordingly. So having some really basic solutions in place, such as backup and the ability to respond to that, like the native capabilities built into Chrome OS and into our workspace products, will allow your organization to have a strong business continuity. And that's what we should be looking at when it comes to ransomware. How do I ensure that my business can continue if it was affected and make sure that I can contact my customers, have trust in my digital channel, and not have an outage that would affect materially my business organization in this way, especially a small business that's seen huge growth in this space. Uh, uh, Mark, but, but for business who, owners who are already in the digital space, what are some of the uh, measures they can take to imp improve their business online security? Well, whether you're big or small, a digital veteran or a digital new, a newbie, uh, we recommend that you don't focus on any single layer of defense, but have a defense in depth approach, mm -hmm. a comprehensive cybersecurity program that helps you to identify, prevent, detect, respond, and recover. One of the examples I just gave earlier was backup for recovery. It would be important that these business owners have a range of solutions that are battle tested and highly resilient. And what we see today is small, medium enterprises can't find the IT teams to build, operate, and run this themselves. So they need to rely on these battle-tested solutions that are cloud-delivered at scale with really good pricing as well. And as a result, our commitment to customers is to continue to advance our cybersecurity. We continue to offer enhanced safeguards in our stacks, modern technology to provide a more defensible environment that we can protect at scale. When you use those, those cloud-based services, you can be confident that they've got the right controls in place to help protect your organization, prevent particular attacks, and allow you to be able to respond and recover. Another great example here is the ability of the Chrome OS to actually prevent from ransomware itself. We've actually seen no reported or detected ransomware attacks on the Chrome OS software. And that is a, a great statement to security by design and allowing organizations to safely use a product confident that they're not going to be at risk 
of this particular challenge. Okay. Mark, thank you so much for joining us at this time. Ketua Keselamatan Google Cloud Apex, Mark Johnston, membincangkan tentang keselamatan dan juga security dalam kita menyaksikan perpindahan SME dan juga PKS kita ke era teknologi dan juga adaptasi digital ini. Baik, sekian saja Negawani untuk jam ini. Saya Najib Arof. Assalamualaikum. Salam hormat.